So the following video is me from a month ago recording a course for the DeBolt Drumming Academy, which is an academy for you guys to learn and grow as drummers and musicians. Basically, the rest of this video is already up at the DeBolt Drumming Academy with an intermediate limb independence exercise, an advanced one, a professional one. It's got a ton of stuff. So if you want the rest of this video, you can go there to get access. You go to deboltdrumming.com slash academy, become a member. There's a ton of other resources and other drum courses there. Plus I post a new one every single month. It's a ton of fun. Anyways, here is the beginner limb independence exercise. Enjoy. Limb independence, in my opinion, is one of the most important skills that you can have as a drummer. Often, when we can't play a certain drum fill or a certain drum groove, it's usually not due to a lack of technique or a lack of speed, although it is those things sometimes. It's typically due to a lack of limb independence. All limb independence is, is the ability for each one of our limbs to play a different task than all the other limbs. Now, I know that that might be just a really simple thing to do a course on, but honestly, it's super important. And I get a lot of questions very often from drummers who are like, how come my right hand always plays what my right foot is doing? Or how come I can't play anything with my left hi-hat foot? And typically my response is, it's a lack of limb independence. That's really all it is. Very simply, the goal of limb independence is to be able to play what comes to mind. When we think of a groove or a drum fill, we want to just be able to play that more so than just being like, oh my gosh, my right hand needs to do this, my left hand needs to do that. We don't want that. We want our limbs to be able to think independently from one another. And so when something comes to mind, we just want to be able to play it very fluidly and very freely. So starting at the beginner level, we are going to learn this independence exercise really simply. All we're going to start with is a foot ostinato. Now all an ostinato is, is a pattern that you play over and over again and continually repeat. For us, the ostinato pattern is going to be played as a basic samba pattern with our right foot and our left foot on the hi-hat doing off notes. Let me demonstrate what this sounds like at the kit. Now remember, we aren't going to be changing that pattern at all throughout this entire course. It's going to stay the same, that boom, chick, boom, boom, chick, boom, boom. It will be the same. And the hard part comes in when we start adding in our hands on top of that. So adding in our hands to the equation, all we're going to be doing is playing single strokes for now with our right and left hand. And all that looks like is just right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. We're going to add that on top of the existing ostinato with our feet. Let's go ahead and go to the kit and see what that sounds like. Now, you might already be feeling some uncomfortability here, which is good. That means that you have some room to grow. If you're feeling like your hands and feet are flamming with each other, that is also a sign that you still have some room to grow here. After that, we're going to do double strokes with both of our hands on top of the existing ostinato. All double strokes are is just right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Let's go to the kit and try it very slowly. Incredible. Now I know this also might be feeling uncomfortable, but maybe in a different way from the single strokes. The single strokes, for me at least, feels like it's hard to not flam between your hands and feet. But for me, the double strokes almost feels like a balance thing. It's almost like because every limb, your feet and your arms are moving at opposite times, you start to throw yourself off balance. So really center yourself, make sure you're sitting firm on your drum throne and try it very slowly. So if you have both of these stickings down, let's start to throw them back to back. Let's start with the single strokes and then go straight into the double strokes without stopping the foot ostinato in between. Let's go to the kit and go from slow to medium to fast and see how that sounds.
awesome. Now, if you're still having trouble speeding it up, that's okay. Just stay at the tempo that you can do it at and work at it there until you can gradually speed it up to the tempo that we're trying to get to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned a ton. Be sure to implement this stuff into your drumming because it's really gonna make a huge difference and it really has for me even. Again, if you want to have access to the whole course plus a ton of other drum courses, go to deboltdrumming.com slash academy. And also, Merry Christmas to you guys. I know it's December and we just put our tree up last night. Merry Christmas. Have a good one, guys.